Fox News alert. A U.S. official confirms Israel has launched a strike against Iran. It happened overnight. So far, no comment from Tel Aviv. The strike was inside of a major Iranian military air base that contains facilities associated with the country's nuclear program. But we know Iran's nuclear facilities are secure. So we have not received any official statement from the Biden administration, but a source says the U.S. was notified before the strike and was not involved with it. All right. Uh, retired General Jack Keane joins us right now live from Washington with expert analysis. He's in a moment. But first we go to Jeff Paul, who is live on the ground in Tel Aviv, where, you know, Jeff, as you we can see the city in the background, uh, is it business as usual or are the people acting shocked that uh, they actually struck? It definitely feels like a normal Friday here in Tel Aviv. You see a lot of people out and about running their last minute errands ahead of Shabbat. You've got Passover starting on Monday, so it is quite busy. The beach is packed right now. But in another sense, we are also waiting for the Israeli war cabinet to meet at some point today. Obviously, this Iranian strike will be a topic of discussion. Uh, but one thing we probably won't hear from is an Israeli government official today. And that really goes in line with the military strategy from Israel to not comment on these targeted strikes. But regardless of if anything is said by or, Israel today. Uh, the strike itself really does send a loud and clear message specifically uh, to Iran that they can hit within the borders of Iran where they want and when they want to. Now, this was considered a very specific and targeted strike. It was focused on the central region of Isfahan. It's roughly 200 miles away from the capital city of Tehran and also near the Natanz nuclear facility. Now, we should point out the site was not hit in the strike and it appeared that a nearby airbase was the target. Iranian state media so far really downplaying this strike. They've reported the explosions uh, that were heard in the region were from the Iranian air defense system responding to three drones but have not mentioned the source of the attack. An Iranian official has also reportedly told Reuters it has no plans to strike back immediate, immediately. But curiously enough, uh, a few hours before this strike in Iran, uh, Iran's foreign minister was in the, you know, in the United States and spoke to CNN and made some comments about Israel and what they would do if Israel retaliated. Take a listen. When we say at a maximum, we mean that if Israel commits that same mistake, our response will be regretful for them, immediate and decisive and definitive. If we come across a condition in which the United States of America puts itself besides Israeli, the Israeli government in order to expand the warfare intentions, it is not within the interest of America to do that. So very strong words from the foreign minister uh, in Iran. But today, really no comments from Iran or Israel, as it seems both countries are trying to uh, sort of de-escalate the situation so it doesn't widen out to a wider conflict. Brian? All right, Jeff, thanks so much. So I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.